If you are looking to enhance your level on ground mode to adventure, you clicked on the right video. If it's your first time here, I recommend you to watch the first video of the tips and tricks series so you can get the most out of this one. This is the second part and is about advanced tips and tricks. Make sure to be focused so you can improve and have the level for the next video. How to obtain a world record on ground mountain adventure. Now that you've learned the basics of the game, we can dive into more advanced techniques, such as... Last video, I said this. There is a way to make an even faster combo boost, but we'll keep that for the next video. This technique, called snaps, is an even faster way to execute a combo boost. In the summer of 2020, the game's physics changed and led to snaps discovery by Harrison Schindel. As it is faster to perform than regular combo boosts, it allows you to execute them in very little jumps. You should be aware that this will take you practice to master, but I will do my best to give you a clear explanation of it. You need to start doing a backflip, stop it halfway through, release the poles, then drag them towards the upper left corner. This will make your character snap. To practice, I recommend you to go on Rodcam Jumper. Going on a high score track will help you understand how and when to execute a snap, as you can see the trick you've done. Now, you'll be able to do combo boost much quicker. Originally used on a very specific track, Senior was later revealed to be game changing in trick challenges. Let me explain why. Senior is using rails as a way to build up big multipliers by doing 180s on the rail, gaining a multiplier every time. Previous to the 1.191 update, rails had no decreasing multiplier. But each time you would do 180, you would add 0.5 to the multiplier. This led to insane score, such as 100k points on XL Park World. This was a controversial topic and the developer decided to implement decreasing multipliers onto rails. That being said, it is still a very good way to obtain big multipliers quickly. The key for doing that trick is that you have to be slow on the rail, so you can do multiple spins. To spin, you want to pull both poles to one side. Some prefer to turn to the right, some to the left. And there's one weirdo who switched between both. So, try out what's best for you. To practice these, I recommend the track XL Park World on El Naka. It has plenty of rail to try out things on. Hop extension is a technique used almost exclusively in high school challenges, but it can be found useful in some time trial tracks. This might be the simplest trick on the list, all you have to do is to jump at the exact moment you land on the ground, and your jump will be extended. When I do hops, I spam the jump buttons right before landing, so I'm almost sure to get it. This trick can only be used in the given time of the challenge you're playing. If you do it outside the time period, it won't work. Hops can be used to jump further for drop and distance challenges, spend more time in the air for air time challenges, or even to add tricks to a combo in a trick challenge. Routing is really depending on the type of challenge, so it will be split out in subcategories. As I mentioned in the first video, sharp turns are your go-to most of the time. In addition to that, I can say the straighter, the better. When analyzing a track, you want to think, what is the shortest path between point A and point B? And simply go the straighter possible. I noticed a lot of beginners will go way too much. You shouldn't most of the time, as it will make you travel more distance than going straight, making you lose time. However, it still has to be used sometimes if you're at low speed. However, you should always try to go for path that gets you combo boosts, as it's highly more efficient than taking the shorter path. So whenever you see a bump or a rail, try to get a combo boost on it. Also, need to get less air time, jump before the end of a jump. It will allow you to land earlier, getting the boost sooner. 
Now that you know about Sini existence, you have to rethink everything. Try to find rail to grind on the track you are trying to improve. That being said, normal tricks are still very important. Most of the time, little and abrupt jumps gives you a lot of air time, thus giving you plenty of time to get good figures. Because of the singularity of these types of challenge, I can't detail everything in this video. But if you want to see a video exclusively about drop, distance and airtime trials, tell me in the comments. With all that being said, I will leave multiple ways you can find videos of the routes used in every tracks down below. My Google Drive folder and skiers, but also Jamie's YouTube channel. Now that you've acquired good knowledge about the game, double diamonds will be easy for you. So you might want to look into an even harder difficulty. Triple diamonds. Triple diamonds are an unofficial difficulty made by the community. If you want to know more about that, join the official Grand Mountain Adventure Discord server and we'll explain it to you. I sincerely hope this video helped you. Keep in mind that in the next video, I will teach you how to get world records of your own. So if you don't want to miss on that and if you liked the video, maybe consider subscribing. I hope you had a wonderful day and I'll see you next video. Goodbye.